So Elon Musk bought Twitter, and he's already censoring people. Mr. Free Speech Daddy somehow isn't Free Speech Daddy. And and what do I mean by this? Well, uh, for those of you who've been watching my channel for a bit, uh, you saw my video on Jordan Peterson advocating for basically uh, shadow banning any account that wasn't verified on Twitter. Um, not only would this create an oligarchic kind of system with Twitter, where if you can't afford, like, you know, a <laughs> hundred bucks a year, you're not going to be able to afford uh, to be seen. Uh, because what he wanted was the verified accounts to be at the top and all the troll demons at the bottom. That's fucked up, you know? But all these people on the intellectual dark web have come out in favor of this sort of thing when it's Musky Daddy doing it. And Musky Daddy did it. He has done it. He has done the uh, slow lane, s suppressed and uh, shadow banned version of censorship for all accounts saying anything negative. I'm not making this up, yo. Um, go back and watch the video, and you'll see it. You'll see that he is currently uh, doing a very similar thing to what Jordan Peterson wanted after he already did basically that to begin with. There's a separate section in your notifications now for all verified and mentions. And the verified section uh, is is where you get to see all the people who pay him eight dollars a month, um, and that verified section is also uh, what's in tweet replies, where he's starting to say that anybody who uh, who is verified will get uh, essentially pushed to the top, and also that uh, that people who <laughs> who uh, who say things that are negative or hateful, um. Those people will be max deboosted. So, without further ado, uh, here's the tweet in question, where he's just like, <laughs> New Twitter policies, freedom of speech, but not freedom of reach. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, you can say it, but we're not going to uh, give you the same platform as people we like. Negative and hate tweets will be max deboosted and demonetized, so no ads or other revenue to Twitter. You won't find the tweet unless you specifically seek it out, which is no different from rest of internet. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Note, this applies to just the individual tweet, not the whole account. Uh-huh. So, okay. Basically... Uh, what he's saying is that if your tweet is too negative, too negative, your tweet itself will be shadow banned, will be censored. And, and like, for anyone who doubts me, for years, conservatives have been like, oh yeah, shadow banning, I'm shadow banned, this sucks, I'm being censored, Jack Dorsey is censoring me, Mark Zuckerberg is censoring me, I'm being censored by shadow bans. And... They were. Shadow banning is a form of fucking censorship. But now, now that it's Musky Daddy doing it, most of these people are on fucking board. Because that's what it really was about. It wasn't about, <laughs> it wasn't about stopping censorship. It was about the guy I like isn't in charge. If the guy I like is in charge, then he'll probably censor the people who are mean to me. The troll demons! as Jordan Peterson, who is now unsuspended on Twitter, at least unlocked, because he was never really fully suspended as far as I know, uh, would, would call them the troll demons. He, he got rid of the troll demons. He, 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 he protected my feelings. Um, <laughs> fuck all of your feelings. Everybody who pushes this kind of policy, because the way to check if you're shadow banned is to use the Twitter shadow ban test. So, Here's the shadow ban checker, 
and you can use this to test whether or not your deboosted ghost band, search band, suggestion band, or existent at all. And in order to not be shadow banned on Twitter, you have to meet all the criteria. My account currently meets all the criteria, as you can see when I hit the check button. And this check button will automatically test whether or not you are deboosted. Deboosting is a type of fucking shadow ban. And if you look at their information section, it talks about reply deboosting. It says if Twitter signals determine that an account might engage in harmful behavior, that being in this particular case now, Elon Musk's feelings, uh, negativity, uh, funny how he said comedy is now legal on Twitter when he's now saying you can't be fucking negative. Um, <laughs> Twitter hides their replies behind a barrier and only loads them when show more replies is clicked. This behavior is personalized, i.e. Twitter does not hide the tweets of accounts you follow. We therefore use an unbiased reference account without followings in order to determine whether tweets in a thread can be reviewed without clicking show more replies from its view. In some cases, Twitter classifies accounts as offensive. Ooh. In this case, replies are hidden behind a second barrier within the show more replies section. The outcome of this test may depend on the conversation which we found one of your tweets in. For testing, we take your latest reply tweet that is not within a conversation you started. Note that test results are cached for a short period of time. A failure to test is neither a positive nor a negative test result. This test relies on some conditions that are not fulfilled by all accounts. In some cases, we cannot test for purely technical reasons. There is also a ghost ban, uh, which is referred to as conventional shadow banning or thread banning. It comprises a search ban while threads are completely ripped apart by hiding reply tweets of affected users to others. Everything will look perfectly normal to the affected user, but many others will not be able to see reply tweets of the affected user at all. Reasons for this ban include behavior like excessive tweeting or following. Again, this type of ban seems to be temporally limited for active accounts. So, Basically, he's pushing shadow banning as a solution to people being too mean. Or, you know, being, being too negative in this case. That means that if I want to, for instance, speak out against war crimes, I have to be like, oh man, you know, I love people who are against war crimes. Those people are great. I can't just say, fuck you, war criminal. I can't make a negative joke about war criminals. I can't be a comedian on Twitter. Comedy is now illegal on Twitter. But people want to act like he's free speech daddy because they're stupid pieces of fucking shit. I literally had an argument about that earlier today. I had an argument with somebody who claims that this isn't censorship because they're willing to slurp down literally everything he says. Musky Daddy says it's not censorship. Musky Daddy calls this free speech. So it qualifies, even if it meets the traditional definition of censorship, as suppression of, uh, of, of information. It's suppressing the information. And meanwhile, he just lets verified accounts tweet to the top, and those verified accounts can be bullshit. Like, for instance, Chiquita. <laughs> you know... Chiquita being over here like, we've just overthrown the government of Brazil. We apologize to those who have been served a misleading message from a sh fake Chiquita account. We have not overthrown a government since 1954. <laughs> or this one, we steal your water and sell it back to you, lol. Or, you know, all these other ones, which are equally funny, where Lockheed Martini says we'll begin halting all weapons sales to Saudi Arabia, Israel, and the United States until further investigation into their records of human rights abuses. Or this one, <laughs> Chuck Grassley. Or this one, where SpaceX was like, people often ask why we at SpaceX have accepted billions in government subsidies during our lifespan to do a quarter of what NASA's pulled off de decades ago, but with a privatized company. We don't have a good answer, but people often ask us. These are the people that Musk is pushing to the top right now. And then when that shit got challenged, 
and he started to have to ban a lot of these people, he was just like, well, stop being mean at all. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Oh, man. Uh, it's, it's, it's the opposite of a breath of fresh air that, that, <laughs> that he's just pulling this shit immediately and so many people are still on his side. Just, if you're thinking of defending Elon Musk for these decisions, do everyone a favor and shut the fuck up in advance. Now. Because this isn't free speech. This is centralization. It's further control. It's making Twitter worse for free speech. And it's worse for every subversive. Because we can't just say fuck the police now. Fuck the police is negative. We have to say, I love it when people do things that aren't policing. It's 1980 fucking four! It's double plus good, it's news speak. It's saying things are awesome in some kind of way because you can't say that they suck. Comedy is now illegal on Twitter. That's the new thing. It's now illegal to tell jokes on Twitter, at least in, at least in Musk Kingdom. And people still defend him. People still act like he's awesome. And, and you know, just to take an aside, this video is brought to you by uh, an anti-censorship uh, search engine, which you can go to the link in the description to use for free and sign up for your account in order to earn uh, their in-house cryptocurrency. PreSearch is a blockchain-based privacy-forward search engine that allows you to search all the major providers without trackers. And it also uh, has an in-house cryptocurrency that you can stake to advertise on their engine. Additionally, this is brought to you by Liberty Professionals, uh, a private security and uh, investigation uh, firm in Texas. It's ASUS board certified. It's got a lot of good things going for it. And most notably, he can help you with remote security consultation to secure your home, small business, and life. It's also brought to you by Brushfire 2048, which uh, let's just say is becoming a little bit more of a reality than the fiction it is. It's written by an author who's repeatedly supported my content. And if you want a, a gift for the conspiracy theorist in your life, feel free to hand them that. Um, but basically... Uh, all of those things are keeping me going because I'm eventually going to be pushed off of all these mainstream social media platforms. I'm going to be pushed off of all of them because people like Elon Musk run them. People like Elon Musk police them. People like Elon Musk control them and keep people like me from having a platform on them. Elon Musk is a force of evil. And anybody who acts like he's anything else is a bootlicking piece of shit. Like, holy shit. And I'm in the progress of writing an article on him, Heragris Nexus. Feel free to check my articles out there. And we do a podcast. We released four episodes this week. Why am I saying all this? Well, because even if um, the Twitter thing doesn't shut down, which... By the way, it hasn't yet, even though people have been panicking about that for, like, weeks. Um, constantly creating trending topics about, how, ooh, this is the last tweet. Ooh, this is the last thing I'll ever say. Ooh, it's collapsing. Ooh, it's crumbling. Ooh, it's crashing. No, it's getting more refined to being the controlling, centralized, informational autocracy that it always fucking was. And people who act like it's not are nothing more than obsequious little bitches. So, that's my take. If you want legal comedy, go to places like Bastion. Actually decentralized uh, social networks built on the blockchain. You know, go there. Because you're not going to get legal comedy in a place where you can't be fucking negative. George Carlin would be regularly shadow banned until he was officially banned on Twitter. Because his comedy was regularly negative. Doug Stanhope would be banned if he said all the things in his routine. Ricky Gervais. Fucking <laughs> Joe Rogan even. 
if comedy is supposed to be illegal, you're not barred from telling people negative things. The whole point of comedy is that you can be negative and get people to laugh about it. But Elon Musk is an autocratic, whiny little cunt who doesn't like his feelings hurt. And he doesn't like getting, you know, all this new responsibility and having to actually do things for once. <clears throat> well, if people are regularly, like, de-boosted, which is what that is, it's censorship, it's de-boosting, by not giving them the boost of treating their account normally. If he's going to do that because people are too negative, he never gave a fuck about your speech. He just wants Twitter to be more like him. Constantly glossing over all the problems while everything crumbles to the ground. Okay? And he's eventually going to run out of people who are interested in paying that $8 a month because engagements there are going to tank because people are walking on eggshells trying not to be too fucking negative. Well, as somebody who was called the most aggressively negative person on Liberty Twitter, I take umbrage with that and ah, object. So, with that being said, um... I'm going to keep on tweeting until I'm banned again, because I almost certainly will be under this new regime. Um, and I was banned for a year and a half. They lied to a bunch of people and told people that I was banned for a bunch of reasons that I didn't do. And then later on, when they uh, reinstated my account, um, well before Elon got on board, um, when they did that, you know, they, they admitted that they were wrong about the reason they actually banned my account. Meaning they admitted that they lied to all those other people. If they can lie before with better terms of service, if they can lie before with more free speech than Elon Musk is offering, then they can lie again. And they will. So, batten down the hatches, decentralize your presence, diversify your social media portfolio and get everywhere else you can. Because it doesn't matter whether or not Twitter is going down. It's probably going to stay up. The point is, if you want a better experience, you're going to have to make sure that you're elsewhere. Because Twitter is really, really bad now that Elon Musk is in charge. Comedy is now illegal. Smash the fucking state.